All right, y'all. This going to be part two to our vacation video. And again, just to try to get a better view of things, um, we're going to go from this angle. You know, as much fun as it is to see my face all the time, right? Uh, just did a super fun video with my daughter, TJ. She had a blast. Got some pretty nifty cards. Uh, if you watched the previous video, one of them was an EX Full Art Mew with a pink background, and that's actually a pretty, uh, pretty valuable card. So she's pretty stoked about that in her collection. Uh, what I've got here is the Incredible Hulk issue four. It's the modern issue number, but if you can see right here, the legacy number is 785. So technically, from the beginning, this is the Incredible Hulk 785. Now, it's gone through a number of iterations. I loved the Immortal Hulk. Uh, that was such a great run. Uh, this is now, uh, there's a short run after that, but 13 issues, I think. And then uh, they've moved back where it was just Hulk. And now they've moved back to the Incredible Hulk. So uh, I'm interested to see, uh, I've got the uh, other previous issues. I haven't read them yet, but I'm interested to see how the team of Johnson, Foreman, and Wilson do. And hey, when strikes the man thing. I was uh, sold from the get-go. Uh, we had gone to my local hobby shop, actually two different ones. One's uh, Galactic Quest here in Buford, Georgia. Been going there for quite some time. And uh, the other one is the Video Game Trader. So, you know, I had to pick up a couple books. Uh, the Incredible Hulk's in my poll list. So I do expect that one, uh, you know, monthly which is great. Uh, pump the brakes on having too many things in that box for the time being, but next great story arc, maybe I'll join in. But uh, yeah, let's see what else we got here. Uh, I like to pick up uh, sort of offbeat number ones. Now, Image, everybody knows Image Comics usually, Spawn, and all the great titles they, you know, like Supreme, you know, all, all those interesting titles. Uh, one of the ones I, I liked that image was Wet Works. Uh, but uh, yeah, looking at this one, the cover sold me. Hexagon Bridge this seems to be quite a literal thing uh, by Richard Blake. So I, I read a little bit about it. And sure enough, this is a sort of an alternate dimension thing where people show up and everything's a little bit shaky. So I'm excited to see where this goes. So again, Hexagon Bridge. Issue 1 by Richard Blake. Now, this one. There have been a few uh, uh, foodie-inspired comics along the way. This one, I, I know nothing about. But, Rare Flavors. Uh, they got that uh, Canadian flourish with the OU. Love that. Ram 5, uh, Felipe Andrade. And this is number one. And I love Boom Studios. They're always coming up with some great stuff. And in this case, um, it was the cover that sold me. I mean, I, just look at that art, man. It's like colored pencil. I love it. <laughs> just stands out. It look, looks like something I might have drawn in the middle of math class before. But uh, I did take a peek um, to see what we're talking about here. And there's definitely some food and some pretty sinister stuff uh, 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 beneath the tablecloth, as it were. Uh, so, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I uh, picked up a couple books. Uh, I'll do a review, see how Rare Flavors was. And uh, what was the other one called? A Hexagon Bridge. Uh, thank you for watching the video uh, that my daughter was in. Uh, she had so much fun. We had so much fun. So, again, this is Baseball Cards Before Work. We appreciate your time hanging out with us. Uh, subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell if you want to see more of this uh, fun stuff. Uh, drop comments. Uh, love to have conversations about all these uh, unique things. So y'all have a wonderful Monday. I'm going to get back to this vacation where I'm going to put my feet up. Peace.